Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, we are going to start Selenium Web Driver. As part of the Selenium Web Driver, I am going to show you how to download, install, and configure Python in this session. Remaining all topics I will be covering in the upcoming sessions. So, how to download, install, and configure Python? So, let's freshly download, install, and configure Python in this machine. For that, I'll open the browser and search for two words that is download space Python. Just two words. So automatically the Google search will happen here and uh, you will see the link here saying download Python from python.org. Here python.org is the official website of Python. Click on this link and you'll be taken to the downloads page of this Python official website. Under the downloads page, you can see a download button. Okay. So download Python 3.11.2. When I'm recording this session, it's the version is like this. Maybe when you are uh, uh, watching this video, uh, I mean, in the future or something, this version may change. Okay. So whatever the version is there, don't worry. It don't have to be exact 3.11.2. Whatever the version at your time is there, just click on the button, guys. The Python will download. By default, it is for Windows. Download the latest version for Windows. If you are using any other operating system, you can go with other ones. But for now, I'm, I'm focusing more on Windows. So let me click on the download. So the Python for Windows has been downloaded here. Let me go to the location where it got downloaded. So here is the file, exe file, which got downloaded. So the downloading part is done, guys. Now I have to install the Python. To install the Python, whatever the downloaded file is there, I'm just going to double click on that. So I'll get this installation wizard and uh, install now and all those things are coming. Just select install now, guys, that's enough. So where the Python is going to be installed, you just see, see users, username folder, app data, under that local, under that programs, under that Python, under that Python version number, okay, folder. Select this. I got user access control dialog where I'm going to select yes. The installation is happening, guys. Let's wait for the installation to finish up. Almost there. Won't take much time. So the progress is filled up here. Let's wait. It's almost there. We should get some button stating that, you know, the installation of Python has been completed. You see the setup was successful, got displayed and we can see this close button. Just click on the close guys. Uh, Python has been successfully installed in our machine. And just one more thing. I need to configure Python guys. Okay. After downloading and installing Python in this machine, I have to configure the Python also. To configure the Python, what I have to do is I have to go to the location of the Python guys for that. I'll click on this and uh, click on this PC. I'll go to C drive under that users folder, the place where the Python got installed, right? While installing, we got this path, right? The same path I'm going username folder. And in that here app data, hidden folder will be there guys. If you're not able to see the hidden folder, just select uh, show and say, so uh, make sure that this hidden items is uh, on. Okay. So that you can see the hidden folder also. If this option is not on, then you cannot see this folder guys. Okay. So this is a hidden folder app data in that we have to go to the local in that we have to go to under the local folder. We have to go to the programs, local programs folder under the programs folder. We have the, we'll, we'll be having this Python. Okay. Which got created just now when you have installed Python. So open the Python folder in that Python, some version is coming Python with version name, name folder is coming. Open that Python version name folder and, uh, okay. So under that, okay. You'll see a lot of folders, but just copy this path case, copy this path first, copy this. And now type here, edit system. Okay. Environment. Like this, just three words you type. 
edit system okay or two words edit system is also fine edit the system environment variables okay just select this option and uh, by default advanced tab is there under that you know environment variables you select now here user variables is there system variables is there under the system variables you find the path which is an existing uh, system variable okay select that and click on edit and here say new and here paste the path that you have copied the python folder path now the things are not done so till here you copied and you pasted it here and now what you have to do is from this folder you have to go into the scripts folder now copy this path again okay this is very important guys two times you have to copy paste one till this python uh, three uh, the version number folder and other one is till the scripts folder also you have to take the copy and again the same dialog edits environment variable for path click on new and paste it okay till scripts you have to say okay 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 that's it guys you can close this now let's see whether the python got downloaded installed and configured properly or not okay after these steps are done open command prompt just click on the search and say cmd here and open this command prompt see the command prompt got displayed here okay so not able to move this anywhere okay fine yeah now i can move so here guys i need to type the command that is let me type python hyphen hyphen version okay python hyphen hyphen version if the python has been successfully uh, installed and configured right you will get the version number when i press enter okay when i run this command i should get the python version you see i got the python version which i just now have installed in this machine so this proves that the configuration is done properly okay so with this note guys uh, with these things that i have demonstrated okay so i was able to show you how to download install and configure python in this session so that's all for this session guys okay in the next session i'll show you how to install launch and use pycharm id okay so the next thing after installing python we need a kind of editor where you can write the python or selenium python code let's go and install this pycharm id which is one of the best editor for selenium python okay for writing the scripts in selenium python we have to use pycharm id so that i'm going to show you in the next session guys okay see you in the next session thank you bye bye